This patient presented with a long-standing history of right temporal lobe epilepsy, localizing to the superior temporal gyral region on EEG. The images demonstrate disorganized appearance of the cortical gray matter along Heschel's gyrus on the right. There is thickening of the cortical gray matter, which is indistinct on the more lateral sagittal T1-weighted image. A large confluent region of T2 flare hyperintense signal was identified within the superior right temporal gyrus without diffusion restriction or loss of signal in the susceptibility weighted images. No suspicious contrast enhancement was identified. Note was made of a slightly small size of the atrium on the right as compared to the left. A differential of cortical dysplasia, dysembryoplastic neuroectodermal tumor, ganglioglioma, and low-grade astrocytoma was given. On biopsy, the region of signal abnormality was found to reflect the region of focal cortical dysplasia type 1A. Focal cortical dysplasia, or FCD for short, can be subdivided into two categories, FCD type 1 or non-tailored dysplasia and FCD type 2 or tailored dysplasia. FCD type 1A results from dyslamination and mild malformation of the cortical development. FCD type 1B results from isolated architectural abnormalities and cytoarchitectural dysplasia. FCD type 2 can be further subdivided into type 2A no balloon cells or type 2B balloon cells present.